Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to WTF WrestleMania Part 2. What in the world is Jackson Riker doing here? What? We're already starting off odd tonight as usual. And Jackson, I don't ever recall this guy, you know, being in a match tonight. Why is he marching down to WrestleMania? Who knows? Oh my goodness. What is going on here? It's something every week, every episode. We got to deal with something. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jackson Ryder, and I have been asked to cut a promo. And I will cut a promo for my debut on WTF Wrestling. I just want to say this. I don't like the way things are going. And in 2024, I have decided, me, Jackson Ryder, that I am going to run for president. I believe we should have a political discussion on WTF Wrestling. I do not believe in censorship on WTF Wrestling. And I know there's a group that does on WTF Wrestling. But I'm here to tell you all that come 2024, I'm putting my name in the hat I'm being political, and I'm going to make a change, because I know I can make a difference. Ja Jackson Riker, you're making a big mistake, and there goes the lights. A big mistake. The number one rule of WTF Wrestling is no politics. Yeah. You should have knew. You did know. He's lucky I didn't knock his butt out. I just want to say this, 2K22 is coming, and I know I took some losses with the Fandangos and with the Prisoner, but I refuse to lose the war. I may have lost the battle, but I refuse to lose the war. I'm going to tell you this, 2K22, I am going to show WTF a piece of my mind. And also, 2K22, we are going to continue our tradition of no politics. Jackson Ryder, you better get out of the ring. And ladies and gentlemen, Jackson Ryder still hasn't left the ring. He was he was in the ring during the whole promo. And Christopher now going after him. Ryker's running. You know, this guy says he's going to run in 2024, but he's running from Christopher. Imagine if any other issue happens. Is he going to run from it? And look here. He's running out of WrestleMania. He's abandoning his WTF wrestling job. He has been released. Oh my goodness, that didn't last long. Uh, I, Christopher ran him out of the building. <laughs> and the Iron Taylor is here, guys. And let me give you the stipulation. If Iron Taylor loses tonight, he has to leave WTF wrestling. If David loses, him and the NBA are all fired. There is a stipulation to David losing that. If Joe Embiid wins tonight, Joe Embiid gets to keep his job, but nobody, nobody else would if David lost. So, most of the NBA is up for grabs here. And we're about to see David, and I don't know how David's going to pull this one off. I just don't know how he can stack up to the Iron Taylor. What in the world? He hit the gym! David has hit the gym! Oh my goodness! Apparently he got the buff twig method. Oh, he read his book. Yeah, we all know how that one went. Oh my goodness. We should have known David would have tried something. And it looks like he even got taller. So now he stands at 7 foot 4. So not only did he increase his muscles, he increased his height. How is that even possible? Oh my goodness. And the Iron Taylor now has a challenge. And Iron Taylor versus David here. Look how big David has gotten compared to the Iron Taylor. Oh my goodness. And look here. Oh no. And, you know, David has realized that the NBA can take on the Iron Taylor at their size. And Iron Taylor's in trouble here. This is a two out of three falls match. 
if David does lose, he is fired from WTF Wrestling, along with everyone from the NBA. However, if Joe and Bean can win tonight, Joe and Bean can save his job. That's if he can win. But also, if David wins tonight, Iron Taylor has to leave WTF Wrestling. Either way, one of these guys is going to go. And it is going to be a good one here. And look at the Iron Taylor. Look at this. Oh, man. Head first into the mat. David goes. And look at Iron Taylor's strength. Unreal. How did he pick him up? Oh, that's right. He's spineless. That's how. And Iron Taylor dropping. David again. David started off good, but it's not looking good now. And look here. <laughs> Using the ropes for support. And Iron Taylor. What a nice move there. What a nice move. And going straight for the pin after that one. And David with the kick out. And look here. Look at this. A big finisher there. Uh, Iron Taylor decides not to go with the pin. Oh, man. Guess he wants to beat on David a little bit more. And look at this. And Iron Taylor going for it again. And it works. Two in a row. Can he get a pin here? And a kick out there. Oh, and look at David's strength. Oh, wow. And look here. A punch to the face. And oh man, Iron Taylor with another nice hit. They are going for the pin. And he's got a point. He is one point away from David being fired along with most of the NBA. And look at David. Oh, man, taking some big punches there. And then throwing Iron Taylor halfway across the ring. Look at the Iron Taylor here. Oh, picking up David. Throwing him down. And an elbow to the back. And look here. Another pile driver. Right on David's head. Oh my goodness. This does not look good for David. Somehow he kicks out.
And Iron Taylor with another one. Needs to go for the pin. He decides not to. And look at this. Oh, man. He's punishing David again and again. With those high-flying moves. And look at this. Another one. He should be going for the pin. He's not. Oh, man, another strike. And uh-oh. And a missed clothesline there. And look at David. Look at David here. Oh, no. Gut punch. Oh, my goodness. David can't do nothing to the Iron Taylor, no matter what he's doing. And he is trying to crawl to the ropes. I don't, you know, I don't think whatever he's using is as effective as what Buff Twig was using. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. David may go to sleep here. And look here. Oh, nice drop there. Uses the height for his advantage. It's Monster David, and oh, a kick to the ribs. And look here. Here comes another pile driver. My goodness. And this may be it. And a kick out. Wow. Unreal. Unreal with the kick out there. And uh-oh. This does not look good for David. And another one. Oh, David gets right back up. And uh-oh. Oh, oh, man. David may go night-night. And he is. David has went to sleep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Poor David. You're done, David. It's over. <laughs> the NBA's over. The only one that can save himself is Joel Embiid now. The rest of them are gone. It's official. They have all been fired. Oh, my goodness. And WTF has taken care of its problems really well. Really well here tonight. I know there's going to be problems in the future, obviously. But they have been taking care of business tonight. And there's no doubt about it. And ladies and gentlemen, the man in charge is here, Ozzy. And, oh, I think we're going to make this one official. I don't know who's following him. You see those three people in the background? Who in the world? Why are they following him? Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. You never know. I mean, you all, you'll come out with managers you never knew you had. And, <laughs> but, uh. That's only W that's WTF wrestling for you. But Ozzy is here, and I think we know what announcement he is about to make. Oh, David, don't run. Don't run, David. Do not run. David, I don't know how to say this because I've been meaning to say this for quite some time. You are fired from WTF wrestling. Pack your bags and leave. I hope you guys are enjoying WrestleMania tonight. We have done nothing but a great job getting rid of all the bad people on WTF Wrestling. And I'm sure there will be more to come on 2K22. But I would also like to say this. Kalisto called off sick. And it turns out Kalisto... Took his family to a baseball game. Kalisto, if you're watching this, 
you were fired as well. Oh, come on, Ozzy. I wanted to take my kids to a baseball game. I didn't want to go to WrestleMania. I wanted to go to the baseball game. This I'm heartbroken. Can you please, please give me back my job? I know I called off sick and I wasn't sick and I lied about it, but my kids are going to get to see baseball live for the first time in their life. You called off sick. You didn't call off to go to the baseball game. You lied to me and said you had the flu just to get out of WrestleMania. Half these people that we work with want to go to WrestleMania and you don't. So you are fired, okay? Someone else could have had that opportunity and you stole that from them because you called out with the flu when you were taking your children to go see a baseball game. You're fired. And ladies and gentlemen, David and uh, James Harden, LeBron, Michael Jordan, uh, Luca, Kevin Durant. Oh, I don't know about Kevin Durant. He still holds a title, but... Yeah, he's probably going to have to vacate it. It's the Emperor's Ugly title. I doubt if he'll be back next year. Um, so KD, Kawhi Leonard, Kyrie Irving have all been fired. Joel Embiid will be fired as well if he loses tonight. So that will apply to him. The only way he can keep his job is if he can beat Plum tonight. And also, uh, Calistio. Uh, he has also been fired as well for taking his kids to a baseball game. After he told Ozzy he had the flu. Uh, we have people all over the place. And apparently somebody saw him at the baseball game and reported it to Ozzy. Kind of a snitch, yeah. But uh, the guy lied, so he got fired. And also, Jackson Riker uh, walked off the job. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, uh, WTF roster's looking like it has some openings. And guys, we don't know, uh, at the time we are recording this, we don't know when 2K22 is coming out, but we will probably find out later uh, in the evening. So, uh, just to let you guys know, uh, we're doing this a uh, day before you're seeing it. And it is, now this is one of the biggest matches ever, the Big Baby versus Joker Edelman. The hype is real here. And we still have two more matches tonight. We got, uh, um... Darkness Juggalo will be teaming up with a mysterious person to replace his tag partner against DJ and Sully. And we also have our main event will be an Iron Man match between Joe and B and Plum for the Universal title. So, got some big matches here tonight. Joker Edelman and Big Baby battling it out here. And uh-oh, Joker Edelman. Look at this. Oh, man, an elbow drop. And Joker Edelman getting the lollipop out. Oh, man, smacks the baby in the head. This is an Extreme Rules match. Two out of three falls. And look at the baby. Oh my goodness. On Legend mode, by the way. On Legend. And the baby. Oh no. Oh no. The baby has been stuck in a glitch. Oh no. Look at Joker Edelman. Teasing the baby. He's been stuck in a glitch. He's teasing him. And... Looks like he's trying to get out of it. He's still stuck. And Joker Edelman's not helping him. He's dancing instead of helping him. And look at this. Mocking the baby. And the baby has finally escaped the glitch. And Joker Edelman can quit showing off here. Teasing the baby. Now, isn't that a uh, just a horrible thing to do is tease a baby? Like, come on. Where is Joker Edelman's morals at? Mocking him why he's in a glitch? 
You know, it's like laughing at a baby for not walking properly the first time. It's messed up. And oh man, Joker had him with a kick. And look at Joker Edelman, what a move. Oh my goodness. And Joker Edelman. Oh, come on. Scratch the baby on his back. And uh oh, the baby is after Joker Edelman here. Look at that nice drop kick. Baby going for the pin. We got a zombie referee, by the way. I'll tell you what. The zombie ref is better than most of the normal refs. So, yeah. He's dead and he's better. And you don't... And uh, w, WTF doesn't have to give the zombie uh, referee any life insurance. Because he's already dead. Or health insurance. Because he's already dead. It's nice. You know, he's a cheaper ref and he's more efficient. And, uh-oh. Look here. And Joker Edelman somehow kicks out of that. And Joker Edelman, uh-oh. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, man. What a move. Look at that. Nice replay there. And uh-oh, getting more weapons here. And look here, Joker Edelman, no! No, oh my goodness! Uses the book of evil. The baby's not evil. Oh my goodness, Joker Edelman should be ashamed of himself. And look at this. And a pin combination, good move there. And a kick out there by the baby. Baby's not giving up. Oh no. <laughs> I don't even know why we're watching this. This is crazy. Why did this match even happen? Like... <laughs> Uh-oh, what in the world? What? It's Ricochet! What? <laughs> what? What is he doing here? Trying to get us a copyright strike? Because his music, all, I'm going to have to talk over his music. Ricochet distracting the baby. Look at this. Ridiculous. Really? This is... <laughs> what is Ricochet doing here? Helping Joker Edelman out. What a cheater.
Oh my goodness. And look at Joker Edelman here. Oh man. And a kick out there. Ricochet, I know what he's trying to do. Get this video a copyright claim. I'm the one to him. I'm the one to his, mu his theme song always gives us a copyright claim. He's trying to defund the channel. And Joker Edelman gets a point. Oh my goodness. How ridiculous. Ricochet coming out there. Distracting the baby. And ever since, Joker Edelman's been on fire. And he even gets a point out of it. And look here. He messed that up. But the... Uh, look at the baby. DDT. Perfect. Oh, man. Cheaters may never prosper. We'll see here. And somehow, Joker Edelman kicks out. Unreal. On legend mode. And now swinging the lollipop. Uh-oh. Baby's had enough. He's had enough. And Edelman dodges it. Oh, gets a shot there. And look here. Uh-oh. Yeah, choke him. Oh, my goodness. The baby. Oh, this is... Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble here. But somehow, Joker Edelman... Look here. Oh, hitting the baby with the stick of the, the, the candy. Oh, my goodness. Totally brutal here tonight. This Extreme Rules match has been... I don't know how he escaped the submission. That was a tough submission. Oh my goodness. And Joker Edelman is nothing but a filthy cheater. You understand me? You're nothing but a filthy cheater. I would be ashamed of myself using Ricochet. Come on. What is Ricochet doing here? That's what I want to know. And Joker Edelman wins. How disgusting. And all of them, it's not going to end. Oh, he, Joker Edelman's not going to stop here. This is just beyond ballistic. And look here. I would be ashamed of myself. This is what you're going to be remembered for at WrestleMania. Beating the big baby. Oh man, kicks him on the announce table. This is ridiculous. And he's tearing up the announce table. This is out of control, is what it is. Joker Edelman should be fired. That's who should be fired. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. We're about to see something bad here, ladies and gentlemen. And, ladies and gentlemen, someone stole the camera from the cameraman. What in the world? And, ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't see what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, here this is one of the matches that we could care less about. I mean, honestly, I could care less who wins this fight. It's Akira Town uh, Townsa. He's from the future, fighting Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I mean, what in the world? What's happening? The match is being fast forward. Someone is fast forwarding the match because they do not care about this match. And it should have never been set up to begin with. It's one of the interns. What in the world? He's fast forwarding the match. How is that possible? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I could care less who wins. Thank you interns for fast forwarding the match. I mean, nobody in the live chat wants to see that match. Nobody. I mean, come on now. and We want to see this match. So, I don't know who fast-forwarded it, but the WTF universe would like to thank you for fast-forwarding. Because we all knew Hulk Hogan was going to win. We all knew it. 
I mean, really? Did you think he wasn't? <laughs> uh, but anyway. Yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and start this match off. It is DJ and Sully versus a mysterious tag partner and darkness juggalo. And it's going to be a great one, guys. A great matchup here. And uh, uh, DJ's been uh, speculating that it could be either the Iron Taylor or Brandon. One of the two. We will see tonight if he is correct. Um, and DJ and Sully still better be prepared no matter what. Who knows? It could be the Brian Kendrick. We don't know. Um, and who is the mysterious tag partner? And DJ was right. It is Brandon. And we, we should have knew the clue was as big as can be when Brandon took on Sully. That was the big clue. Because Brandon and Sully have had a quite a rivalry going on. And uh, yeah. And of course, DJ's uh, Pixar party has been incredible. He's, he started up his own stable, and I'm sure we'll see something for, in 2K22. And here comes the other half of the tag team champions. So here's how it goes, just so you all will know for the future. If a tag partner is replaced, the original tag partner cannot hold the title. So Dial Tone cannot hold the tag team title. It has to be Brand, since he has been replaced. That's if they win tonight. But as of now, Brandon is a tag team champion. It does not count, though, for being a two-time tag team champion unless he wins here tonight. And they got DJ and Sully, who have been on a run. And even though Sully lost against Brandon, Sully was a number one contender for the Universal Belt. They're a number one contender for the tag titles. And Pixar Party, which is part of DJ Stable, has been incredible. And the tag titles are on the line. So it is going to be a good one, guys. It is going to be a good one. And let's go ahead and get this party started. And uh, Darkness with a kick out there. Way too early. And DJ with the DDT. Sully with a charge there. Oh man, what a double clothesline by Darkness. So like I said, Dial Tone cannot have the tag belt again as long as Darkness and Brandon are the tag champions. But that could end tonight with Sully and DJ. We shall see. It's going to be a good one. Sully and Brandon stack toe-to-toe -to -toe in height. And, uh, and look at there, Darkness breaks up the pin. And Sully, oh man, throws darkness. Then a kick to the head. And a leg drop to follow up. And now Sully going after Brandon. Well, was. Brandon beating on uh, DJ here. Oh man, a Superman punch. Darkness going right for the pin. And a kick out there. And Darkness going for a pin on Sully. And DJ right on the pin. So no pinfall was possible. And two submissions locked in. The referee's going to go with Sully's first. And both of these guys 
DJ and Darkness are going to break out of these submissions easily. It's way too early for them. And look at Brandon lays out Sully. And a choke slam from DJ to Darkness. And DJ going for the pin here. And Brandon would have been a kick out anyway, but Brandon tried to drop on it. And look here, Darkness going for a pin. And a kick out there by Sully. Darkness, uh-oh. He's going for a Superman punch. Let's see if he can connect. And he does. Superman punched to Sully's big head, but Brandon's going to go for the pin instead because uh, DJ was blocking the pin. And look here, and a kick out there by Sully. And Sully drops Darkness here. And going for the pin here. And a kick out. Good stop there by DJ trying to stop Brandon, but Darkness kicked out. And Darkness breaks up the pin there. So no points yet. They've been pretty good about breaking each other's pins up. Um, both teams are really good tag teams, you can tell. Yeah, Sully right on that pin. Didn't even give Brandon a chance. And look at Sully here. And the referee got knocked down. I'm telling you, that zombie ref's way better. And look at Sully with the strikes. And Darkness going for a big move here. And a spear! Wow, what a big spear too. But look here, Sully going for a submission and Darkness going for a pin, but Sully's submission came first. The ref cannot count this. Oh my goodness. Until the submission is over, now he can go to the pin. And Darkness got the pin, so it is one to nothing. He still gets the pin, despite the interruption. Well, it wasn't really an interruption because the submission was first. It's just funny how it works. You know, the ref has to watch the submission before he can even go for the pin. And Darkness, Superman punch to Sully. And this is a good opportunity to put this one away. DJ trying to crawl to the pin. Brandon stomping on him, but a kick out there by Sully. It's far from over. And Sully going for a pin. And Brandon with a kick out. I'm not a kick out, my, my bad. A pin break. DJ going after Brandon now. And look here. Going for the choke slam. Brandon takes his hand right off and gives him a headbutt. And Brandon going for the DDT here. Could he go for a pin? And Darkness is going to try to go for the pin instead. Sully. Look at this. Oh, nice. Nice break up there. Despite all the traffic, despite Brandon attacking Sully, he still got the, he still broke up the pin. This match, and look at Brandon teasing Sully. And 
and Brandon got a finisher on DJ. Could this be it? And Sully breaks up the pin. Great teamwork there by Sully. Both Sully and DJ have helped each other out on countless occasions. Both teams have been really good about paying attention to the other team's pin. And look at Brandon was showing off. Sully's going to make him pay. Oh, man. And Darkness is just resting on the top rope. They need one more pin if they want to retain the tag titles. And uh-oh, and Brandon. Trying to break up the pin. It was a kick out anyway. Look at Sully with a DDT on Brandon there. Darkness with a running DDT. This is real, I mean... Despite them being up by one, this is still a close fight. Both teams have taken a lot of damage. And Brandon, headbutt with the helmet. Referee gets knocked down again. Goodness. And DJ Level and Brandon. And DJ's going crazy. He's getting angry. And look here. Goes after Brandon there. Darkness kicks him in the ribs. Look at that. Oh, man. What a move. Get some momentum built there. And look here. The Tombstone Power Driver locked in. And DJ going for the pin here. Can they get a point? And Brandon breaks up the pin. Right place, right time for Brandon there. And Brandon with a DDT on Sully. And look here, Brandon going for the pin. DJ breaks it up. And look here, Brandon going for a Boston Crab. And look at DJ slamming darkness. Having some trouble getting up, and it is over. Stamina was what did it. And Brandon and Darkness have retained the tag titles. So Brandon is officially now a two-time tag champion. But boy, did they have to fight for that. They had to fight for that win because Sully and DJ weren't going down easy. And I, I'm going to guarantee you that, the, that Brandon and Darkness haven't seen the last of DJ and his Disney comrades. It is far from over. They have won the battle tonight, but the war is far from over because they will be back. I guarantee you that. And these two have retained. So congratulations to them. Hey, Leon, I got a good idea for Capcom. You and me as playable characters in Resident Evil 9. What do you say? What? Really? I don't know what the Brian Kendrick is thinking. Uh, he has he wants to be a playable character in Resident Evil 9. I don't think it's going to happen, Brian. I just don't. I don't think it's going to happen. The only thing that's going to happen is this last match. The main event. Joel and Bean versus Plum for the Universal title. And not only is... 
the title up for grabs. Joel Embiid's job is up for grabs because most of the NBA has been fired now, officially. Uh, Joel is the last man standing, and he can't save his friends. He can only save himself. So he's got to win tonight. This is a, a do-or-die situation. And it is an Iron Man match against Plum, the Universal Champion, who has been Universal Champion for quite some time now. So, this is going to be a good one. He's defeated Sully. He won the Triple Threat match against uh, Darby Country Allen and uh, Dial Tone, I believe. So, he's been on a roll. And the Universal title is on the line. So, yeah, big one here. Plum will take on Joe Embiid here in Universal Championship. This is an Iron Man match. It will be a 15-minute match. And the last WTF match of the night. I want to thank all of you all on the WTF roster. And uh, like I said, at the time we're recording this, we don't know when the 2K22 date's going to be. But we will not see you until a little bit after that. So it's going to be a little while. Uh, but it just depends. It just depends on the uh, release date. If it's October, we won't be seeing you till around October. One well, of the episodes wise. Uh, but we still have a lot more stuff to cover. Uh, we have CTL coming up. That will be next. Um... I don't know if we're going to set it up for the weekend. It just all depends on the release date of this. Uh... Of this game. So. Joe and Bede starting off well. And look at Plum doing some kicks to the leg. Oh, man, Joel, oh, man, a shot to the back as well. And look at Joel standing on Plum. Oh, how disgusting. And Plum has had his hands full. Uh, Joel and Bede and Sully both were in number one contendership matches to face Plum before. Plum has beat Sully, but Joel and Bede's still here. And uh, he's the last guy left to go. Can Plum beat him is the question. And Joel's going to give it his all because his job's on the line tonight. But he has no NBA to back him up. No David to back him up. He is all alone in this. But he's doing a, a great job so far. And look at Joel here.
And look at Plum. DDT with 12 minutes to go in this. Still a long ways to go, but Plum had a rough start for sure. And a kick out there. Not even a two. And Plum going for the finisher. He gets a point. Wow. So Plum gets a point. That is a big point for Plum, too. And look at Joel Embiid here. Oh, big hit there. I don't know how Plum got a point this early, but he did. And a kick out there by Plum. I guess he can take more damage. Both of these guys are 100 overalls. So. And Joel. Oh, Plum puts his knees up. Oh, man. That hurt Joel's ribs. But Joel continues. To hurt Plum in this match. Look at this. Accordion rack. I believe that's what it's called. And Plum using his fist to hit Joel in the back of the head. And Joel throws Plum. Look at these punches. Brutal punches. Look at this. Oh, what a connection there. Joe has a chance to get himself a point and another kick out. Joe cannot believe it. Plum refuses to give up, but Joel is he's doing a lot of damage here. And to be in the main event of WrestleMania with your job on the line? That's even crazier. And a submission, good submission too. And Plum, uh, I guess Joel got tired of it, but he's going to go straight for the pin right after. And Plum kicks out again. Less than nine minutes to go. And look at Joel here. Going for another one. And he gets the point. It is one to one. And Plum going for a point now. And a kick out there. And Plum. DDT locked in. And going for the pin. And another kick out. So it is tied at one to one. Please do not have any ties. That's the last thing we need. And Plum is going to go for the finisher here. With eight minutes to go. And Plum going for the pin. And another kick out. Uh-oh, and look at this. Plum's got a submission locked in. And Joel taps. So good submission there. Two to one. The clock is ticking. He could not get a point from the pin of the finisher or the signature, but the submission did work. And uh-oh, Joel, though, Going for this submission again. It's a deadly one. And Plum. Oh. Punching from the side. Now the ribs. Gets out of it somehow. The first one was bad enough. 
Oh, man, an elbow right to the head. All Plum needs to do is just hold Joel and beat off from getting a pin for the next, set, basically, a little bit under seven minutes. And he can keep this title. And a kick out there. And Joel Embiid. Oh, man. Lays out Plum. Going for the pin. And that's a point. Two to two. So it is officially a tie once again. And I think if we end up with a tie, Plum will retain the championship, but Joel wouldn't lose. So. Oh, man, what a strike. Look at Plum going to work. Look at this. Finisher locked in. Plum going for the pin. And that's a point. So it is three to two now. Plum is back up. Uh-oh, look at Joel here. What is he going to do? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, my! Halfway across the ring. Oh, wow, what a move. And Joel going straight for the pin. He may have one here. And Plum somehow kicks out. Unreal. Look at Joel. Lays out Plum there. Going for the pin. And another kick out. Joel has done everything he can. I would, I would even argue if it wasn't for the points, if we were going by the, the hits and punches and slams, Joel is winning this match. He just cannot get the pins. And he got that one, so he's tied it up again. He will not, he refuses to lose. Three minutes remaining and a three to three tie. And Joel, the elbow drop there. And look here. Slams Plum. And Joel is showing off here. This does not look good. Three to three is the score. And Plum with a drop kick. 
Look at Plum with an elbow drop. And going for the pin. And a kick out there. Jordan B going for a pin. And another kick out. Goodness, he has done everything he can do. And Plum going for the kicks. And look here, finisher. Locked in. Plum's got to do something here. And another kick out. My goodness. A minute and seven remains. We are tied here. And this is not good at all. Less than a minute remains. And look at Plum. DDT. Oh, he's got to go for something here. He's got to go for something. He's got to get that pinfall in. We cannot have a tie at WrestleMania. And there's 30 seconds, a little over. Oh, my goodness, and a kick out. Unreal. Oh, this is craziness. And look at that. Reversal there. Plum going for the finisher. 15 seconds remains. He got the point. Unreal. And Joel is running out of time. He's got five seconds, and it is done. Plum has put him in a submission. It is over. Plum retains the belt. Barely, but he manages to do it. Wow. What a performance. What a matchup. I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it, w it, it was great. It was an awesome match. And Plum, at the last uh, 15 or so seconds, seals the deal and gets Joel and Bean fired from the company. NBA is gone. And, oh, Joel and Bean, you got to give him credit. He put up the fight of his life. Uh, and Plum, he, in my opinion, if it wasn't for pinfalls and submissions, Joel won the fight. But Plum came out victorious. And Joel is just resting on the ropes in defeat as Plum retains the Universal title and will go to 2K22 with the Universal belt. Unreal. What a night for WrestleMania. And Plum does it. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the home of Joker Edelman. Someone has broke in his home. Who is it? Ghostface is here. That's Joker Edelman's home, as you can see. I can see the tag in the back of your costume, by the way. Oh, he's sending a message to Joker Edelman. Oh, my goodness. What is the message? What? Oh, come on! Don't... Oh, don't... Oh, don't steal the man's chips, ahoy! Come on! Really?